Today I would like to introduce you to Chris Duggan. Chris is the New South Wales President of Strata Communities Australia and they've been a very active member of the discussions that we've been having as we've been designing the new reform strategies for the construction industry in New South Wales. This is a really important interview for strata communities. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about Strata Communities Australia? Thanks, David. SCA New South Wales is the peak body in New South Wales for strata and community title. So our membership, representing over 75% of the $400 billion strata sector in New South Wales, is made up of strata managers, strata suppliers, strata owners and service providers to the sector. Chris, a major part of the reform strategy is actually making sure that from now on everything we do is informed by good data and uh, a project that we're working with SCA on is in fact a major survey. This is a really important piece for consumers and strata owners across the state. Do you want to just talk to us briefly about that? This survey is critically important, David. It aims to gather data from 6,000 strata buildings finished over the last six years and then further develop that data with 750 buildings completed each year thereafter. And what's important, this survey is going to deep dive into the granularity of defects. So whether there's waterproofing, structural defects, fire defects, so that we've got a complete picture across a bigger data set of exactly how many defects there are in strata buildings in New South Wales. Chris, uh, this survey is also going to be the back end piece into uh, informing product for consumers such as the new strata portal in New South Wales. Do you want to just walk us into some of the uh, aspects that will help that area? So the survey will also collect data around whether builders and developers have been back to site, how successful they've been with rectification, and also quite frankly whether those builders have upheld their obligations to those owners corporations, whether they've phoenixed or not. The survey will then look into what information has been passed through to fair trading, what's been notified and whether there are any claims through NCAT or the courts and how successful or what progress owners corporations have had with those rectifications. This is an important survey and I urge everyone who is asked to participate to participate. This is going to give us real information as to what needs to be done and the sorts of interventions that we as the Office of the Building Commissioner can make and start to build a more confident construction industry for the consumers. Chris, what sort of expectations has SCA got of this? David, SCA has very high and strong expectations from this survey and we expect to see measurable differences. We expect to see consumer confidence restored and the purchase and experience increased uh, to the point where we'd like to see an increase by 2025 of a 50% uh, consumer experience in strata. So incrementally over time we'd like to see confidence restored to the market and we have strong faith in your office and the OBC that you'll be able to deliver on that. Chris, we've uh, discussed with the central bodies that represent the industry that they also have to lift their game. I mean, we're looking to now see uh, professional organisations be professional and to start to make sure that they're more than a club. Tell us about where SCA is in this journey. SCA is advanced in its application for a professional standard scheme. So we acknowledge, like other associations in the industry, that we need to do the heavy lifting and we need to be more accountable for our members and the trust they have with the consumer and with the general public. So the professional standard scheme is about being more than a club and making sure that our members are held accountable to higher standards, better education and more accountability for the consumer. So we're doing our part, we will fix the system, we're calling on other industry association bodies to do their part. Chris, do you have any thoughts on this uh, from an owner's perspective as they start this journey? Absolutely David, so purchasers can firstly uh, educate themselves and get information before they go into the property transaction. So we're very confident that the majority of players will come on board with your reform. There will be some that don't. So SCA, in conjunction with the University of New South Wales City Futures, has produced a checklist and a guide for navigating for purchases how to deal with strata buildings. And there are two very clear pieces of advice that we'd like to give. Very simple, but very accessible. The first is to research the developer that you're going to be buying from. There's a lot of information out there and you can get the story on their experiences, their capability and also what they've delivered before. And the second is simple, it's do a pre-purchase inspection and don't be pressured into selling on a building that isn't complete. Chris, as we now move into the future landscape for apartment purchases and owners, um, I'd, I'd like to imagine now that uh, we're going to see a far more uh, positive future for this transaction and this experience than we've had reported over the last few years. Can you now just take us to 
how you would see this and perhaps the best question to ask you is would you buy an apartment now off the plan? David and our viewers out there, I'd be very confident to buy an apartment in New South Wales and that the interests of New South Wales owners are well represented. Well, Chris, thanks for coming in. Um, I think these are very assuring words for consumers and uh, I'm pleased to be thinking that we're going to be working together on this particular challenge and that consumers in New South Wales should feel very comfortable going back into the market and now seriously looking at their next residential purchase. Mm -hmm.